Joining us from our Abuja studio is the Governor of Nasarawa State, Al Haji Abdullahi Sule. Uh, Mr. Governor, it's good to have you join us on TVC Breakfast. Thank you very much. It's nice to be here. Great. Um, Your Excellency, um, let me congratulate you and your party in going through the um, primary, the special convention to pick your presidential uh, uh, ticket. Uh, there was a lot of drama in the news over the past few days about consensus, no consensus, um, who, whether, some people were even wondering whether the primary was going to take place. What is your sense of how your party was able to maneuver? And how did you maneuver to get to a situation where at the end of it, you can say all is well that ends well, but there was a lot of hell before the war. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you for having me. I think first and foremost, let me congratulate Nigerians that today we are not in any kind of crisis, because if APC were to be in crisis, it's the whole country actually that will feel it one way or the other. Let me also congratulate our new flag bearer, the Asuaju of uh, Lagos, you know, uh, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, you know, for clenching this uh, position. This is something well deserved for somebody who has held all these positions and uh, just hearing what you have uh, mentioned about him, the little uh, uh, documentary you have, I mean there is no question that Bola Tinibu truly deserved that position and we are happy that, I'm happy that I'm, I'm part of it. Secondly, on the equation actually about uh, uh, what has happened, you have to appreciate also what our National Working Committee has gone through and what our party as a whole has gone through. The drama actually started with the removal of the last working committee being led by uh, uh, Oshimole. The moment it was removed, then new uh, uh, committee came in to be able to, to set up the convention in six months. But when they came in, they realized we didn't even have a register. We didn't have this, we didn't have that. So they went through a lot, and that's why we as uh, the working couple, we, we as the executive had to sit down and extend their time by another six months. You know, so by the time they came in and they were ready to have a, a new working committee came in, we didn't have time at all. So everything was more or less in a rush. That's why I'm telling you, if you understand what we went through and to say that we had a very peaceful uh, convention, you will truly believe that uh, we, we have to thank the Almighty Allah for giving us this opportunity. And for us to come up with uh, who they, we, we came up with, you know, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, a leader who was part and parcel of the people who formed this party, you know, there is nothing more but to thank God. Otherwise, this state, this country, our party will have been facing different kind of drama today rather than celebrations. But what I receive from all over the world, you know, because, you know, I, I live in the U.S., I work in uh, uh, or other places, I have received messages you know, from Ukraine, even where they were having their own problems, from Bolivia, where I have some problems in the oil and gas sector, from the U.S., from the U.K., people just thanking us that we have done the right thing, and that's the reason why the country is at peace right now. So once more, I want to congratulate Bola Ahmed Tinubu, congratulate our party being led by Senator Abdullahi and the Muturai King Kefi, and more importantly, congratulate our president for allowing us to do the right thing. And thank God we have done the right thing.